welcome to Granny's Peaches Kitchen with Chris, Granny, and today we're making cinnamon triangles. And the correct way to say them is, because we don't really know the name, because it's kind of hard to say. Okay, Granny, I take it from here. So today we're gonna make the Mexican dessert. It's it's so so pila pila. It's <laughs> something like that. Pronounced some something like that. However, what you do is take your tortilla shells and you just cut them into triangles. You put your grease on while you're cutting them, so it'll be ready. It doesn't take long for the grease to fry. And you just mix up some cinnamon some cinnamon and sugar. I do a cup of sugar to a tablespoon of cinnamon and you take it over to the stove. You drop it in the hot grease. They cook really, really fast. So we gotta move really fast once the grease gets hot. We mix those together and when it's all done, we're gonna put some honey on it. And oh my God, that taste is awesome. So give me a second, we're gonna go over we got fresh tortillas from Sam's Club. I like these better than the regular store-bought ones. These are store-bought as well. However, they make them fresh every month. It's not a three-month uh, window in there. So, anyway. We'll be back. Bye. Okay, so we're over here at the stove. and You just put enough grease to fill the bottom of the pan. I usually use vegetable oil. So, um, you make sure that it's on long enough so that when the stuff goes in it's frying and you don't turn it up too high because it cooks really fast already and you just stick them in like that and sometimes I use um, tongs to get it out but they weren't moving fast enough for me yesterday so I had to do it a little different and you just flip them over once. It only takes a couple seconds for them to cook on each side. You can make them as crunchy as you want. And these are the same shell uh, tortillas that you can use if you want to make some um, nachos at home and flavor them up how you want them. And these are the same tortilla things as you use for Mexican pizza. Exactly. We just don't cut them for Mexican pizza. We just use them whole. So, if you're making the Mexican pizza, you can use some of your extras to make your dessert while you're at it. Those are about done. You just take them over and drop them over there. And as soon as, um, as soon as they sit there for a couple seconds, as long as they're still hot, that's when you stick them in your bag of cinnamon. I'm going to cook the rest of these up, and then I'll be right back. Bye. So we're going to take our sugar and just pour that and our cinnamon over in a, a Ziploc bag. It doesn't matter what kind of Ziploc bag. Close it up really fast. Mix it up. And then it's ready to drop your, your shells in. We'll be right back. You're doing these shells, you, your uh, triangles, you really don't want to put too many of them in here at once. You put too many of them in here at once, it's going to be hard to hurry, you know, and flip them over and stuff. So, don't put this many in there. Try to see how many you can move as fast as you can move. But, I think maybe six of them, seven of them is enough. I just put more because I'm used to doing it. But, for yourself, start off with, you know, maybe five or six and not this many. Bye. Okay, so I went on and fried up the rest of them. But while they're still hot and still have a little bit of oil on them, you have to stick them over in here and just shake them up really well. Shake them up so the sugar is all over everything. And then you place them on your plate. But you try to get as much of the oil out as you can. They look a little dark because I, I like cinnamon. So we over here, we like cinnamon. So with us putting in cinnamon, I put a whole tablespoon. You guys might want to only put... Um, or either put more sugar it's up to you but we like cinnamon so we're going to keep ours this cinnamony um, you can use a um, 
excuse me, a teaspoon of cinnamon to a cup of sugar. But this is just the way we like ours. Shake them up. Knock off the excess um, sugar and cinnamon and then keep going. So we're back and I'm going to make the finished product. Basically, you just drizzle a little bit of honey all over it. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to taste the Mexican triangles, as we call them. And I drizzled honey on them and gave it a little whipped cream. So you guys can taste those if you want. Yeah, I want to. I'm tasting with whipped cream. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta tell us if you like it or not. Mm, good. Mm. You little goofball. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all just gonna keep eating. So I guess you like it. You still eating? So basically, again, it's tortillas, cinnamon and sugar, whipped cream and honey. 